A little while ago, I made a video of my interactive table, and people asked me to give a few more details, so here it is. This is the video. Um, uh, what you see here is a projector on the ceiling, and the acrylic plate on the table, and the magic that happens around it, which is quite good. So make it. let's start with um, the wooden board on the ceiling. So I place that there, and it has electrical sockets for all the gadgets, and there's some four screws in there, or some hooks, that I can use to add the box. Now, um, the box has two layers. On the bottom layer, there's uh, the projector, and um, on the top layer, I place the laptop. Now, at the side of the laptop, there's a hole that I can use to connect, uh, to put the wire through to connect the laptop to the projector. And um, this whole thing is, um, is going up to the ceiling. Now, on the side, or on the other side, there's a, a place where I can put the mirror, and there's a little screw that keeps it on an angle of 45 degrees. After I placed uh, the mirror, that kind of reflects the projection towards uh, the table. Now, uh, remember that you shouldn't actually do this on the table, you should actually put the box on the top and then afterwards, if you did all that, uh, then place the, the, the mirror and then place the laptop and then place the projector and, uh, and connect everything. Now again, there are electrical sockets on there, so just connect your projector and your laptop through those sockets and you're good to go. Now for the table, I used a 3mm acrylic plate that I bought at a do-it-yourself store. Um, it's about 80 cm by 120 cm, but you should get the one that fits your table, of course. I got uh, a window blinds that I had laying around on the bottom, and I used some tape to put it all together, cut it out nicely, and just place it there. Uh, it works as a whiteboard, so you can just draw on it and wipe it away and whatever. And we combine that with digital imagery to have a nice way of uh, using it at our gaming table. Right, so now we have a table, a screen on the table, a digital uh, projection of it, and we make, have to make it interactive. So for that, I used a V-marker. A V-marker is a sensor that converts infrared signals um, and converts it into mouse movements, which is pretty sweet. You can get it at vmarker.org for about 100 or 150 bucks, depends if you use dollars or euros. And um, yeah, it just converts any screen into it to a digital whiteboard, which is exactly what I wanted. You, uh, you can connect this, the sensor uh, close to the projection and it just gets that screen and, and picks it all up. Now, I connected it a bit lower than the screen because the angle of the center is a bit more, uh, a bit less wide or more narrow and uh, than the screen. So that's why it's protruding from the uh, wooden box underneath. And then you calibrate it using the software that you uh, you can get from their website. It's, uh, it's quite simple. You just press the calibrate button and calibrate it with the arrows that you see on the screen and put the uh, pen in the corners and then you're done actually. It's, it's really easy. The pen has, um, has two buttons, uh, one for the left mouse button, one for the right mouse button, and when you've done that, you know, you can just use it for as any simple mouse, which is quite sweet. For the most simple and fun software that you can use to, to try all this when, you, when you're done, um, I've used Autodesk Sketchbook. You can download a free, uh, free version from it, um, and then you just have a digital whiteboard. You can draw on it, you can open images and draw on those images. And that's about it with this interactive table. It's way easier than you might expect uh, with this little device called VMarker. Um, of course, there's more to it. Like you can use a, a different software and I'll in the future, I'll make a video of that. But for now, this is how I created the table and how I made it interactive. I hope you liked it and uh, see you next time.